Yeah, har mateys. Welcome to the seas. This is Damron. We're playing Sea of Thieves. I've been working on this video for a long time because it is a long grind in order to get all the commendations in the Guardians of Fortune. And I have kind of put together everything to hopefully show you the best way to go about getting all of these commendations in this new faction that you can find in your journal. So the Guardians of Fortune, again, this can go up infinitely, but your last reward is going to be for level 1000. But obviously there's a ton of new commendations. So let's get right to it. So first we'll just do a brief overview of the commendations in this section so once the um, very first time you join the guardians of fortune you'll unlock the for freedom commendation and then there's a lot of commendations that we can do prior to level 100 which is to hunt enemy ships you have to do that 100 times you have to defeat 10 invading ships as well as sink 150 ships that are you know run by servants of the flame and then once you hit 100 you'll be able to take place in the blessing of athena's fortune ceremony which is allow us going to get a lot of things later but as you're playing this we'll talk about this later you can get it kind of streaks as you're winning games and there's commendations for three five and ten as well as getting the highest streak 50 times which is actually four you'll have to turn in 500,000 worth of gold from the hourglass sail a thousand miles with the guardians of fortune uh, activated you also need to turn in a reaper's bone emissary to the mysterious stranger sink a faction championship that's representing the servants of the flame sink five ships while representing a grade five athena's fortune emissary and also sink five ships while you're on a captain ship now all those commendations uh you know from then and backwards you can do prior to level 100 well as everything from this point on you're going to have to get to level 100 first and get the blessing and the curse after you do that you're going to have to to get 50 more uh, highest possible streaks which again is four and I'm going to talk about all these a little bit more detail later but you can't do these until you've undergone the blessing you're gonna to have to do a thousand miles after the blessing as well as sinking a hundred ships with a grade five flag after the blessing and you're also going to have to sink a hundred ships while on a captain ship again after you have the blessing and again those are against faction ships servants faction ships you also have to sink 500 total servants of the flame ships which is a lot you're going to need to enter the reaper's lair while wearing the curse also defeat a phantom while wearing the curse we need to turn in a hundred reaper's emissary flags to the mysterious stranger after the blessing and also do a pirate legend while representing the guardians of fortune we're going to have to defeat 20 ashen lords also do the seabound tall tale defeat uh, defeat 20 skeleton ships and defeat 20 skelly forts all while wearing the curse you're also going to have to be sick on one of your crew i like this one a lot you slimed him uh, while wearing the curse you're going to have to form an alliance with other ghostly pirates that one's a little bit glitchy but i'll talk about that later you also have to play the we shall uh, sail together shanty while wearing a curse with another pirate we'll have to sink 50 ships that are representing the servants of the flame while we have the curse on we need to defeat a hundred skelly uh, just skeletons while we have the curse on we also have to take a seat in the legendary tavern with another crew while we have the curse on we need to hit a ship with a wraith ball while wearing the curse set off an athena firework while wearing the curse and also slay a pirate that has the skeleton curse on and finally we'll have to witness another player undergo the blessing of athena's fortune while wearing the curse so that's kind of an overview of all the commendations let's get right Right into it a little bit more detail I'll have everything time stamped so if there's a particular one that you want to go for feel free to check the comments and description for any timestamp so I've gone over all of about the hourglass kind of in the season 8 update I'll have that linked as well so we're not going to go into detail thoroughly about that but just know the very first time that you activate your hourglass which you've probably already done if you're coming to this video you're going to get the for freedom commendation now what I like to do at this point this is just kind of how I do it I generally when I come into the game brig you know Know, sloop galley whatever I'll throw down that hourglass while I'm stocking up my supplies because this is really where I can kind of maximize my opportunity to get those 10 invader kills so the Athena shield commendation you have to defeat 10 invading ships so I like to just throw it up and technically put my ship in the queue and while I'm just grabbing my supplies a lot of the times that I was grabbing supplies I would end up getting invaded so here I am I'm just kind of run around the island and you'll see oh boom here I go I'm getting invaded make sure Sure you throw up that uh, emissary flag every time you're representing the uh, you know guardians of fortune because that's going to increase the value of your hourglass and also there's a lot of commendations tied to that right we have to uh, sink ships while having a grade 5 flag on also be sure you're on your captain ship as well so initially before the level 100 you have to uh, sink five ships as a captain to get the have you not heard of me commendation 
Now, all of those kind of things prior to level 100 are things that I want you to kind of work on simultaneously. And the more and the more you play these kind of hourglass batter, you know, battles, the better you're going to be. You know, they're very different. They all kind of function a little bit differently in the sense of solo sloop battles tend to play out a lot differently than duo sloop battles, brig battles, galleon battles. You know, if you have multiple people you play with, you're just going to have to kind of get on and just, just play these matches and kind of get a crew that you're good with because obviously Obviously, winning these matches are going to advance your level much, much faster than losing them. You're still going to get reputation and things when you lose, but winning is how you're going to get a lot. And you're going to get these streaks. You can see here we're on a streak of one, right? I, I just This is me just kind of showing you basically getting invaded. But the one thing that you're going to be doing is you're going to be sinking uh, Servants of the Flame. So this guy's a Servant of the Flame, and I have to sink 150 of those in order to get the Extinguished Commendation. So that's something that you're going to work on. And then also, you're going to want to work on on your 10 streak prior you know first off I, I recommend let's let's focus on getting that 10 streak out of the way so you saw that was a one streak and you're gonna have to basically keep diving or keep defending which I do think diving is the faster method because if you're diving you're gonna be getting into matches a lot faster but eventually you're gonna get a 10 streak and that's winning 10 matches in a row without having sunk and when you do that that's kind of where okay we can just kind of let go of going after that because it's kind of frustrating right you'll get seven in a row and then you might sink and you're like oh my god I wasted all of that hourglass value which is why I recommend just trying to get that 10 streak out of the way you can see I just turned in that right now because now we're gonna focus on pretty much for the rest of Guardians of Fortune the rest of our accommodations the rest of ranking up we don't really want to be focusing too much on that okay we're gonna be doing four streaks most of the time and throughout your leveling up process you will inevitably get the prosperous adventure commendation which is sell 500,000 gold of hourglass value Keep in mind that that's the base value of the hourglass. It's not actually going to be the bonus you get from your emissary. It doesn't correlate into that, but you will inevitably get 500,000. The other way to kind of participate in the hourglass is, you know, not defending, but actually diving, voting on the map. Again, I talked about this in my season eight video, but diving down and coming up and actually battling people. That's what they call hunting in the commendation section. And the righteous victory requires you to hunt a hundred ships. And that just says a hundred ships. So remember, you can match up against Athena or uh, Servants of the Flame now. So those will both count towards that. The other thing that we're going to get is the souvenir commendation. You're going to get this very early on you're going to get this for your very first reaper flag that you sell to the mysterious stranger i do recommend um, kind of selling them as you get them if you're confident with your crew you can hang on to them because you can dive now with the flags they're not disappeared but keep that in mind so once we've kind of got that 10 streak out of the way now we're kind of how are we going to progress to 100 because really the next thing that you need to do is get to level 100 and the best way to do that is kind of four streaks in my opinion one you're going to get credit for the best of the best and then once you have the curse obviously pretty good at this as well but the four streaks are a good opportunity to turn in and maximize the rep that we're going to get from the hourglass as well and as we're doing that our goal is to just get to level 100 first you're probably going to kill at least five enemies while flying a grade five athena flag you can see i have a grade five flag there it only takes two wins a streak of two to get to grade five and you're also going to get you're not you know you think you're so tough by sinking a champion and ultimately our goal is to hit that level 100 and once you've done that you've unlock the master and commander accommodation and more importantly as long as you're a pirate legend which you probably are if you're getting to this point um, you're going to be able to go into the athena's hideout in order to participate in the blessing of athena's fortune and the way we have to do that we need to go to the talk to the pirate lord and you'll see now there's a new option as i've done what you've asked i am a pirate legend and a guardian of the sea and once you've done that he will now unlock the ability to go into the athena hideout and the door beside him will open so now you're in the guardians hideout and this is a new section of the athena's hideout that you can now enter it is only available to pirate legends and people that have the curse or if you're with someone in your crew that opens it you can go inside and check it out even if you don't have those things but once you come in here you're just going to kind of head all the way to the back you're going to see merrick and bell standing back here and you'll see an Athena symbol on the ground in front of them now this is where you're going to participate in the blessing and this is the first time you're going to get the curse that you can see my buddies rocking in the background right you're going to get the first kind of ghost curse now I'm not going to ruin this for you you definitely want to you know see this blessing on your own for your pirate so I'm not going to kind of show you all that and ruin it for you but when you kind of finish that blessing you're going to get the commendation blessing of Athena's fortune now the next thing that you're going to want to do is watch one of your teammates under 
undergo the blessing as well while you're wearing the curse. Keep in mind, you can take off the curse and put it back on. So it's not like you only have one opportunity to do this. You don't need to find someone that is just getting the curse for the very first time to get the welcome aboard a, a commendation because they can take it off and then they can re, you know, redo that blessing and you can watch it with your curse on. So now that we've done that, now we're going to get a slew of commendations that we can finally go after now that we have the ghost curse available to us. The first one we're going to do is by playing the We Shall Sail Together shanty with an other ghostly pirate to get the poltergeist commendation. Also in the uh, Guardian's hideout, you'll find this little uh, seat here that you can take a seat on with another ghostly pirate in order to get the ghost drink commendation. So those are two that you can grab right there. Another one that you need to do is you need to get sick on another pirate uh, while wearing the ghostly curse. This is one of my favorite ones in the Guardians of Fortune section. Just eat some worms, do whatever. But as soon as you get sick on another pirate while you're wearing the curse, you will get the you slimed him commendation. Another one that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to enter the Reaper's Lair while wearing the ghost curse to get the behind enemy lines commendation. So for this one, you're going to need to know someone that has access to the Reaper's Lair, someone that's gotten level 100 in the Servants of Flame and is rocking the Skelly Curse that can bring you down here. And if they bring you down here while you're wearing the curse, you're going to get the behind enemy lines commendation. Next up is the Broken Bones commendation, which to slay an enemy pirate that's wearing the Skeleton Curse while you're wearing the Ghost Curse. Now you can see with my immaculate blunderbomb shots that I'm missing all for days, I am killing someone that's actually in my crew. That doesn't even have to be someone that's not in your crew. If someone in your crew has the curse, they can put it on and you can use your blunderbombs to take them out and actually get that commendation. Next up is the Spectral Spectacle, which is to fire an Athena Firework while wearing the Ghost Curse. You can actually buy these from the Merchant Alliance in their section. You can just buy the Athena Fireworks and inside that you're looking for the one specifically that says Athena's Fortune Firework. You can find this but it's very rare to find this particular firework so I recommend you just buy it and then fire it off while you're wearing the curse and you'll unlock that commendation. The next commendation that we're going to get is to complete the Seabound Soul while wearing the Ghostly Curse. That's going to unlock the Spooky Stories commendation. I do have a separate guide that goes through this tall tale in its entirety. I'll link that for you um, here as well as in the description so you can use that if you need help with the tall tale. I'm not going to show the entirety of the thing here, but I will show you. You'll start it at Shipwreck Bay, and then if you go into the captain's quarters of the shipwreck that's on there, um, that's where you actually start the tall tale. And when you finish the tall tale, as long as you're wearing the curse you will unlock the spooky stories commendation now you could theoretically just throw it on right before the last point of this tall tale and get it but i recommend just wear it the whole time so you don't forget the next thing is the spectral standoff commendation to slay a phantom while wearing the ghostly curse Obviously, the easiest ways to find these is on sea forts because that's where they are. Um, you can find them on any island, however. The, another one we're going to be going after is Ghost Lord. This is to slay 20 Ashen Lords while wearing the Ghost Curse. So that is a lot. It was a little bit bugged in the beginning when this released. If you had like three people in your crew and you killed one, you got credit for three. Um, that such has been fixed, so you do need to kill 20 in your, you know, as a crew. You don't specifically have to be the one that kills the ghost, you know, the Ashen Lord. It can be anyone in your crew, and you will get credit for it. Um, another place that you can take out Ashen Lords is Forts of Fortune, so keep that in mind. The last enemy on that fort is an Ashen Lord, so you can either do the Ashen Winds uh, event or the Forts of Fortune to kind of get progress towards that. Another one that we got to do is we need to sink 20 skeleton ships while wearing the Ghost Curse. Uh, the best place that you can do this and kind of grind out six or more is the Skelly Fleet event. Again, that's the kind of cloud of a ship up in the sky that kind of blinks green. Again, if you're watching this video and you're this far in, you definitely know uh, what the Skelly Fleet is. But nonetheless, this is the best place to work on it um, because you're going to be able to fight you know, six at a time. If you don't want to grind it out, then you can just kind of kill the Skelly ships as they spawn out on you, you know, spawn throughout your just normal playthrough. Uh, you can do it that way. But again, this is a fast way to just kind of bang it out. And once you've you know finally sunk 20 skelly ships, you will unlock grade five of that, which is ghost ship. Order of Goals and the next one, Ghost Fort. These are two that we're really just going to be doing on Skeleton Forts. Order of Goals is to kill 100 skeletons while wearing the curse. Um, that's pretty easy. Basically, like two forts, and you'll probably have killed 100 skeletons. Keep in mind this one, like as opposed to the Ashen Lord one, this one is tied to you specifically. So just keep that in mind. Any skeletons that your crews kill are not going to count for you in order to get this commendation. But once you've killed 100, you will get grade five of Order of Goals. And we're going to pair that with 
with our skeleton forts right to get the ghost fort commendation and again this is for 20 skeleton forts similarly to the uh, ghost lore accommodation you could theoretically just throw on your curse right before you unlock the door because the ticker you know tracks right whenever you open the door of the fort that's when it gives you credit so you could throw on the you know curse right at that point but i don't recommend it just have it on the whole time just so you don't forget okay just wear it do the fort the next one we're going to talk about is ghostly apparitions this is kind of a multi-phase commendation because it requires you to strike another ship with a wraith ball in order to get a wraith ball you're going to have to do the ghost ship voyages which are um, obtained via the order of souls you have to be to level 25 in order of souls to pick up these you know specific voyages or you can get the ones uh, from the captain's voyage and when you do these you actually need to go against flame heart so he's the one with the flame heart sails not every time it's going to be him it could just be a different ghost captain and if it is a different ghost captain then you're not going to get the wraith balls if it is flame heart again which isn't every time but if it is flame heart then you will get two to four wraith balls at the end and you just need to shoot a sh uh, you know shoot any ship it doesn't have to be a player ship with the wraith ball in order to unlock that commendation now we did it here with an alliance member and i'll just use this opportunity to talk about the ghost crew uh, ghost crew commendation which is to alliance with another crew of ghostly pirates so you know while you're out after you got the curse you know try to be friendly a little bit and form some alliances and eventually you're going to alliance with someone that has the curse they don't have to actually have it on them at least they didn't when we did so they weren't wearing the ghost curse but when we did make that alliance we un we got the commendation next up is the bring it on commendation which requires you to do a pirate legend voyage while wearing or while representing the guardians of fortune you don't have to represent you know by wearing the curse but you do have to have the hourglass active now the way that this was intended was to basically have the guardians of fortune active during their entire voyage initially you were able to basically initiate the hourglass right when you were completing the voyage and you could get credit that way i think that'll probably be patched in the future so just keep that in mind it wasn't really intended to just throw it up right at the end they really want you to go throughout the voyage while representing the guardians of fortune so it could be patched in the future where you need to represent throughout the whole voyage so just keep that in mind right now you could throw it up at the end but for safety's sake and you know for more fun i just recommend throw it up throughout the whole voyage i do recommend doing the legends of the veil though they are the fastest um, and you're going to get more rewards for doing those you get more loot uh, but they're quicker of the potential ones that you can do and then you'll get the bring it on commendation once you complete that so once you kind of reach this point okay you've really done all the commendations that you could do with your ghost curse and uh now we're to the point where we're really back to the hourglass the rest of our commendations are done really in hourglass all right we have to running the risk which is to kill a hundred servants of the flame while having a grade five athena emissary flag on the pretty good at this is to get 50 uh of the largest possible streaks again which is four streak uh while representing guardians of fortune the exemplary kaplan right you have to uh, destroy a hundred servants of the flame ship as a captain ship too many to count which is to kill 500 servants of the flame ships period magpire's revenge is going to require you to kill 50 servants of the flame while wearing your curse okay so all of those commendations are really going to be tied to just doing the hourglass after you know after we've done everything prior and i recommend the best way to go about that is again those four streaks because you're going to get credit towards everything right as long as you're kind of turning in on those four streaks eventually you're going to unlock the best of the best which is do 50 of the four streaks prior to getting the curse and you're eventually going to get the pretty good at this which is 50 of those four streaks after getting the curse right and amongst doing all that as long as you're on your captain ship and as long as you're repping representing the athena's emissary you're going to get the running the wrist and the other kind of commendations that you're going to get from these sections as well as a lot of progress towards the too many account right you're going to get progress towards all of those things and even the you know exemplary captain is again as long as you're on a captain ship you're going to be killing a hundred servants of the flame ships while you're on that captain ship and all of these things are things you just kind of work on and in my opinion the best way to kind of just go about that is to just focus on the four streaks don't try to go too far and the other way that we're going to be getting 
a lot of reputation is our flags, right? All of the flags that you're going to be collecting throughout this battle, you're going to have to turn in a hundred Reapers flags to the mysterious stranger to get quite the collection. Keep in mind, you can also turn in Athena's flags that you got as long as you won them in battle. You can turn them into him and you're going to get some allegiance, but that will not count towards quite the collection, but it will give you some gold as well as a little bit of allegiance. So the only things that are going to be left after that are these waters are defended and favored sailor, which is to sail 1,000 miles while representing the Guardians of Fortune, with the latter being done only available after you've had the blessing. So you're really just going to have to represent the hourglass while you're doing other things. So if you're just sailing, doing some PvE, whatever you're doing, just throw down, a, uh, throw down the hourglass. Now keep in mind, you could be invaded during this time, but it's a little bit messed up because if you were to dive... You you know right now the miles when you're underwater looking for a match that doesn't count also if you invade somebody all the miles that you sail while you're fighting someone those don't count so it's really unfortunate that right now the only way you can really get it is defending and sailing while you're doing other things i hope they fix it and the miles sail during the battle actually end up counting so that's it that's everything in guardians of fortune that's all of the commendations i hope you found this helpful and as always hopefully i'll see you on the seas